<clears throat> What's going on everybody? So let's get to the real video. Everything you've been waiting for. Hot body. Hot body is the newest and hottest thing that's going on in the helium ecosystem right now. Yeah, this is um, you know, everyone talking about 5G. 5G is currently online, ready to go. If you guys weren't aware, we already have 5G hotspots on the network. So welcome Freedom Fi to the Helium community. So just quickly before I get started in the hot spotty overview, I just wanted to let everybody aware that we currently have Freedom Fi 5G hotspots on the network ready to go. I'm currently um, part of the 5G Freedom Fi beta so hopefully I'll be able to participate quickly you know I'm not a huge whale I don't have a full leap of you know deep pockets and thousands of hotspots so I may get overlooked so help me to you know provide this information provide this quality provide um, content to all of you help me to reach those um, individuals uh, so that I don't get overlooked uh, in building this IoT network. Uh, I'm working extremely hard at trying to solidify the position of my company, PSV Advanced Technology. We're working extremely hard at deploying hotspots, creating new coverage, spreading the word, working on sensors. I mean, we're we're doing it all. We're we're, we're trying to get uh, um, involved in every single aspect as we possibly can related to helium so we can be that SME, the subject matter expert for you. I'm Simon, your Helium G. Welcome to Cryptocology. Let's get to it. So um, today we're going to talk about Hotspotty. Hotspotty is a fantastic new tool that, well, it's not brand new. It's been in the works, you know, in the background, but they have so many new f fantastic features. I can't wait to share with you how I use Hotspotty in my deploy my deployments. Um, how I you can use this for healing consultations because I do offer consultation services to anybody that may need assistance with their helium journey. And you can come check us out. Also, um, I participate in Helium Hacks on Wednesdays. Come hang out with us. Talk. We talk about sensor data, we talk about using the network, we talk about use cases, um, you know, everything besides um, uh, when ship or, or, or how much h and did you mine. So, you know, because there is something else to this network besides um, mining, you know, mining is secondary to the mission. Right now, the IoT mission, the Helium mission, the goal for, you know, for for all of this to work, for everybody to, you know, uh, um, achieve that end goal of satisfactory and leveling up, we need to build the infrastructure. That is the mission. We need to build the infrastructure and at the same time communicate about sensors, LoRaWAN sensors to be exact. We need to let people know that when we build this um, network and you get yourself a helium hotspot, the very next thing that you, you should be working on or should be doing is getting a mapper. You can go check out my man at phys, phystech.net. Actually, you know what? Let me hurry up and do a nice little plug for him right here also hey use the link below to order a link stop link stop is one of the newer vendors get in early on this list so you can get yourself a helium hotspot and help us build the iot network of the future all right so that's enough there so if you want to get some more accessories or anything else along your helium journey fizz Fizzy, um, known as Fizzy in the official Helium blockchain, we've all um, met each other in the Discord and we've communicated our passion with Helium, our passion with IoT, our passion with technology. Um, a while ago, you know, he was talking to me about, hey, I was thinking about uh, uh, so, uh, opening up a store, um, calling it FizzTech, 
do you have uh, uh, any body to, to help me with my logo and stuff like you know because I had this created and so I shared my guy with him and um, he established this fantastic looking logo at FizTech. It looks really fantastic. So it looks amazing. So I support Fizzy, um, and I um, I challenge the rest of you to to support and engage with other community members. Uh, help each other to level up. You know, blockchain is about collaboration. It's not about competing with each other. We already know the end result of that fiat capitalistic mindset, okay? That's what led us to the creation of Bitcoin and blockchain technology. So if we really all do want to level up and we really do want the success of the Helium blockchain, and then collaboration is key. Helping each other to level up. So, yeah, I can order sensors and products from other places, maybe get them cheaper, maybe get them more expensive. I don't know. I don't really care. What I do know is that this is somebody that also shares in a passion of IoT and Helium. He has his own store. It's named FizTech. I'm going to support him. I, I Well, I've already have. You know, that's where I got my TT Go. Um, this is where I got my uh, GPS sensor. It's also where I got my um, Dragino uh, temperature and humidity sensor that in my just previous video that I posted on how to set up the notification trigger uh, uh, for a high heat. So, and I also got the door sensor as well. That is actually uh, downstairs. I need to finish setting that up. So, but anyway, FizTech. Go check it out. Get yourself some Helium products. You can go ahead and click shop right here. And, um, I mean, things sold out really quickly here because, um, you know, he just he's just a really fantastic, he's a fantastic dude. He helps out a lot in the Discord. And I want to be a man of my word. Uh, I want to represent what I, what I talk about. Um, and when I talk about collaboration, when I talk about leveling up, when I talk about supporting each other, I mean it. And... I put my money where my mouth is, so I know I needed some devices. I went to FizTech, and that's where I put my order in. So, you do you, but just remember, we're all in this to level up. We're all in this to enhance our future self, like what I did there. And, uh, hey, go go support FizTech, and you can order something uh, from here that can at least get you using these uh, the network you know you have yourself a helium hotspot and now you're like what else could I do well you can get yourself a door sensor you can get a water leak sensor a GPS tracker air quality sensor actually I actually need an air quality sensor I don't know why I didn't order one I mean I do and and let and I just want you guys to understand this like I didn't really need to order like from FizTech, okay? Like, I already have a bulk load of, oops, sorry, oh shit, of sensors, okay? I already have, you know, the the Wiz the WizBlock sensors. I already have the Glamos uh, um, mapper, okay? I already have the Grove uh, uh, kit. I already have sensors, okay? So. My order had nothing to do with sensors. My order was strictly about supporting someone else trying to make a name for themselves in this game. And, um, yeah, so, you know, I'm not saying I'm going to make somebody, you know, rich because I'm nowhere near wealthy at all. But um, what I can do is talk about it. What I can do is and is order from it and um, you know do the little bit that I can and hopefully if everybody does that um, it works out so hey if you guys do want to um, rock this really cool sweatshirt that I'm wearing right now it's awesome for the fall and winter uh, season that we're in right now um, you can head on over to dogelord.com okay dogelord.com and then you'll see my collection on this site. And this is another example of collaboration. Yeah, I can create my own site 
and and have my apparel um, and probably make more um, doing it that way but this is not um, you know this is about collaboration uh, these are other um, ETH and, and, and crypto miners that I've, I've met along my journey and um, you know we have established this uh, community and uh, you know I want to be a man of my word so you know I can't wait to get my future shades in um, coffee mugs my new book the future pack this is just really awesome because um, I have you know to go deploy the new curl links and stuff and this would be a great bag to just hold everything you need um, and it, it just uh, it's, a, it's a technology bag uh, future self is a tech company uh, a tech apparel IOT company so I try to keep things related to IOT and um, you know the the lines the design that is the POC proof of coverage lines you know the witness lines that's what all of that represents um, the diamond of course represents you know what it is diamond hands because we are diamond hands all right so okay that's enough plugs right now all right so back to it hot body so hot body is an all-in-one tool for building the helium network Understand your hotspot data, plan, manage your hotspots and payouts, collaborate with the community, your team, optimize network performance and HNT earnings. So let's go ahead and continue looking at to see what we can use this for. So Hotspotty allows you to visualize and understand all your hotspot data. You see Hotspotty provides more comprehensive and detailed information about your Helium hotspots and any other tool. So let's go ahead and look at the visual, visualization of the data. Visualize and understand that hotspot data. So what does that even mean to uh, visualize and understand your hotspot data? You're like, I got my helium hotspot. What else do I need to know about it? Why, why is this even important? Well, if you're someone that ordered multiple hotspots or if you're someone that has um, you know, a fleet of hotspots or you're looking to order more in the future or say you just have a handful, you know, two, three, four hotspots and you're like, how do I know where to place these hotspots? Yeah, you can just, you know, willy nilly just, you know, select locations and say, hey, I have my cousin here, my friend here, my neighbor there and let's just place them and see how they do and see how they perform. Whatever happens, happens. Um, you know, you know, I wasn't coming here to be rich or whatever. I don't know. So, and, and, and that's fine. And, and I get it. But, um, we want to keep, um, lasting members. Uh, we want to keep, um, I mean, we want to grow a community of quality, uh, um, helium members. You know, the last thing that uh, I would hate to happen would be someone get their hotspot they waited four five six months for this thing and they they deploy their hotspot they place it and then they're just super upset about its performance all of the youtube videos all of the hype even my own video where i roi'd in five days i mean all of that i mean that's not um that's not going to be everybody's situation but it can be it can be your situation if you either, you know, contact a mentor, um, get, have a conversation with the, you know, with, with myself or anybody else that's willing to, you know, do a healing consultation call with you. Um, communicate <clears throat> with others and communicate with uh, other hotspot owners that have found success. They, you know, I, there's this stigma in the world where it's like, oh, you know, I can do it all on my own. Um, if you're, it, it, it's all on YouTube or, you know, I don't, I don't need to ask anybody questions or, you know, oh, you're charging me for this, that, you know, you're a scam or whatever. You're just trying to make money off of me. And it's like, no, like, you know, you got to value your time. You got to value your information. And at the same time, I put a lot of work into understanding how to do this correctly because when we're deploying hotspots and we're creating new coverage zones, we are establishing a network for sensors, all right? This is not just about mining. Mining is important because that is what incentivizes us to do this. But we gotta look at helium 
as a complement to our current network infrastructure. Just like for Verizon or AT&T or T-Mobile or any of these other big telco companies with their with, with, with their towers and 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 all, everything like you know in placing uh, uh, their antennas correctly and providing coverage for your for your cell data and all of that you know there was a plan to build out that infrastructure and that's why in certain locations you'll see you know there'll be coverage in one town and then next town there'll be no coverage and you can easily uh, um, look at the map and see oh well they only put you know coverage where the dollar signs are where they're gonna make the most money off of data traffic and that's not good for the actual community like that's not good like there are still locations in the US and in the globe where you know you can go two miles up the road and have zero cell coverage or like 3G cell coverage or just old school cell coverage and you're just like what happened here why did anybody um, invest into this location well maybe because of various reasons who knows however for sensor data and for the LoRaWAN infrastructure that we're building this can be used um, anywhere it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if you're in a farm or if you're in a city or the suburbs um, sensors can be used by anybody all right and anyone whether you are a large business, a small business, or you're just a, a husband or a wife, a brother or a sister, or, you know, it doesn't matter. You can utilize a sensor for preventative data solutions. You can use this to help you um, enhance your future self, to help you uh, gather information ahead of time. Like in my previous video, I was showing you I have a temperature and humidity sensor in my... Um, in, in, in the basement so it's gonna allow me to know the temperature over down there um, and the um, uh, uh, the experiment that I'm going through <coughs> excuse me I should have got a drink so Hotspotty can give you all of that everything that I just explained and um, to have all of that work to have a area that's covered correctly so your sensors will work, Hotspotty can give you the ability to deploy and place hotspots so you can have successful HNT mining potential and quality optimal uh, um, placement for coverage. So here's a, a quick glance at a hotspot portfolio performance you can see you'll get the you know we're, I'm just gonna go into this in real in real time and, and, and go into actually my app and my my setup so uh, I'm just quickly showing you um, you know these pictures and how it looks because it's they did a really great job um, the team of developers I spoke to them myself they did a re really a fantastic job they, they work extremely hard I try to satisfy um, the helium community members, and um, I want to give them all their rep. Um, you know, they they deserve it, and um, yeah. So let's uh, let's actually get into this real quickly. So in the top here, we have features, which is understand your data, optimize locations, community collaborations, and automate payments. And then we have resources like where you got your support, and then a blog that's coming up. So when you come to hotspotty.net, um, you're going to click on open hotspotty. All right. So when you click on open hotspotty, this is normally going to bring you to a page where you can sign up and stuff like that. But since I'm already um, set up with my account, it brings me directly to my workspace um, in install and on the map, which is really, really cool. So when you when you have your hotspot. Let's go and click on. All right, so all right, what are all right, so what are we looking at here? So on the map, this is the first page that comes up, and on the left hand side, we have a list of hotspots that you can actually use to you know uh, filter in many ways. You can filter by your labels. So for example, all the hotspots that I currently own, 
I made a label called Jersey. Um, you can go ahead and access that. Uh, the reason you're not seeing it is because I have this um, radius thing here that needs to be changed. Um, so it would have looked inside of all of that radius. And then so we have the hexes. Um, you can learn about the problematic hexes, excellent reward scale, poor re reward scale, and so forth. Um, this will bring you to the locations you've established, and this also brings you to context. This is a really good feature where you can add a contact. Maybe you know someone else that has a hotspot, or even you have somebody that um, you would like to maybe communicate with them and say, hey, your hotspot is placed over here. You know, it would be more efficient if it was placed over there instead. Now, all of this can be used and controlled um, on on the map so when I click on map you have this region dashboard you can click on here which is pretty cool and it will po populate a whole bunch of data but hold on I need to get out of the water so I can actually give you some real data and let me go to my workspace so my workspace is a dash. Uh, it's gonna let me know how many hotspots I have, the current status of it, the reward scale, the reward factor. The reward factor is based off of HIP 15, and the reward scale is based off of HIP 17. If you don't understand the different HIPs, um, I definitely advise you guys checking it out and and figuring out what it is. But you can also click on the link right here and it'll bring you directly to that information on the Helium Documents page and then you'll under you know do some reading to understand exactly what it is. But very quickly, HIP 15 are for transmitters. The more witnesses, the more the transmitter earns for the witness. Each additional witness past a total of four reduces what is earned by each witness in that challenge. Now from HIP 17's perspective, the witness earns less if the number of hotspots in the area of the transmitter exceeds the target density. The target density varies by hex resolution as detailed in the HIP and defined in several chain variables. So there are a, there are a lot of videos um, related to that, but POC, proof of coverage, reward scaling, that's what um, the two things you really want to be focused on, all right? HIP 15, HIP 17. Go check it out, uh, read, up, read up on it. Now, um, so another thing that's important, you have your reward scale reductions. And what this tells you, so this, um, so right now it's telling me 97.75% of the rewards are exposed to reward scale reductions. 78.25% of the rewards come from witnessing other hotspots. Those rewards are reduced based on the reward scales of the transmitted hotspots. Now you can go to the hotspot with worst reward scale. And this will bring you to the hotspot of the ones out of the ones you own, which one may not be performing um, as well on the, as uh, for the reward scale. So when you click on a hotspot here, um, you have your rewards, your reward scaling, uh, the witnessing, messages, comments, installs, and so forth. Now, my computer is working extremely slow right now because I have way too much going on in the background. Now, let me actually try to remove some things so we could um, have better performance. Why is this working so slow? <sighs> okay. Alright. I'm sorry about that. That's my computer. It's not hot spotty. <laughs> that was that was all my computer. Alright, so let's let's start that over again. Alright, so we have the different rewards by day in the past month and how those hotspots have been performing. Now, this is your dashboard. 
we have the wallet. The wallet gives you this information. That's pretty self-explanatory. All right, your hotspots, how many hotspots you own. And so another cool factor is the simulated reward scale. So this is pretty cool. It's gonna let you know the, the reward scale from a placement, all right, if it's not currently set. And it was gonna let you know if something has been sinking. It looks like my hotspot, Nice Basil Gorilla, is currently sinking uh, right now. Uh, locations, location is important because this is good for areas where you may want to add a hotspot, okay? You want to add a hotspot to a new area and you want to keep track of that location. That's what this is going to um, give you. And then you can go ahead. So if we click on new location here, you can go ahead, go through that process, add it. And what happens when you click on it, after you add that location, it's going to come up on the map. And when that location comes up on a map, it's going to say, hey, this location is um, doing kind of okay. If you were to put a hotspot here, it looks like we'll have an excellent reward scale. All right, these are the coordinates as well. Let's see what the reward scaling looks like. We get that, so the reward scale looks good. Um, let's see witnesses. Well, obviously, too close to witness to the hotspots nearby. Um, installs, let's see here. We have a one linked install to it. All right, Jollystone Gazelle, that's one of my hot hotspots. All right, and comments. Now comments is an area where this is internal. The, uh, you use this, it's an internal workspace comment. So these comments are only available from within this workspace. Now if I was an outside person and say for example, you know, we had a hotspot here and I wanted to try to communicate with this hotspot owner. So when I click on it, did I click on it? Ooh, my computer is working terribly slow right now. I'm so sorry, guys. All right, so when I click on it, and say I wanted to try to contact them, so I would go to contact owner contact owner is where you can send a message to that owner and this is why I advise everybody to, to get on Hotspotty. If you are a Helium Hotspot owner, get on Hotspotty, verify your wallet. So is this your Hotspot? No, it's not my Hotspot so I can't verify my wa that wallet. But do I know this owner? Um, no, I don't. But if you did know the owner, you can go ahead and add a label to it and uh, I easily identify that person. But you can also say, um, you know, go ahead and click on this message box here and say, hey, I would like to talk to you about your hotspot. You know, and um, I know I spelled that all wrong. But yeah, and then you can go ahead and click and send a message. All right. So that's what that is there. Now, there are more things to um, untrack wallet. What's that? Oh, shoot, did I accidentally? click to track that person's wallet. <laughs> okay, so, oh, look at that, you can do that. So, um, well, I don't need to keep track of that because, you see, as you can see, it's not my wallet, so it's unverified. That's actually a really good, a good idea. So, this wallet is my wallet, and I went through the verification process, and under the verification status, you'll see completed once it's verified. And to verify, you go, go ahead and like send a transaction and stuff. Now, um, for someone that um, has a hotspot and you say, well, how do I know if I'm communicating with the person that actually owns that hotspot? How do I know that when I send them a message or if I'm communicating with somebody on hotspotty, like it's actually someone that could, you know, help me? 
or could move their hotspot. Like it's not like a host of a whale of a this or a that or someone else and or something like that. Well, that's what this verification status is for. And as you can see, this is unverified right now. Um, but this also tells me that if it were verified, I know that that individual owns this hotspot. They verified their wallet and their address. So, but we're gonna go ahead and remove that because I don't need to keep track of their wallet. But that is a way you can go ahead and do that. All right, so stay tuned for more videos where I go into more in-depth details about Hotspotty, how to use this, how to um, help with your deployments, how to help with placement. Um, I'm gonna go through a better um, video and uh, I just wanna do small short clips right now just to kinda get people understanding, got people seeing the platform and um, just getting involved. You know, I definitely recommend head to Hotspotty um, and set up your account. Uh, whether you have a Hotspot or you don't, if you have one coming in, still set one up. It's important so you can go ahead and communicate with the rest of us on Hotspotty. I'm Simon. I'm your Helium G. If you need help with your Helium journey, you can contact me anytime. Uh, send me a message. Send me an email. I'm Simon Future Two on the uh, on Discord and on Twitter. So thank you for watching this Cryptechology. Thank you for supporting my channel. Please don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, um, leave a comment below. Let me know where what you liked, what you didn't like, and um, communicate with me on the type of videos that you guys would like to see or certain things you'd like me to talk about pertaining to helium because. Um, there might be things that I understand, but I have no idea who really cares to know about or whatnot and things like that. So I'm much better at um, answering questions. So ask me a question and then I can make a video about it. So we can help this community grow. And all of us, don't forget, share, collaborate, let's grow together, enhance your future self, and let's build the IoT network of the future. All right, y'all. Catch you on the next one.